Hey, what's up guys? I'm Mr. Chris. I'm with infotainment.com. Today we're back in our 2021 Ford F-150. We're going to be doing a simple upgrade for you today. We're going to be adding a wireless charger on our truck that doesn't have one currently. The wireless charger actually replaces your uh, little cubby right in front of your shifter and below the radio and your climate controls. Um, it's the whole cubby that includes the media port in it. We're going to be swapping that out and putting the wireless charging piece in. I'm going to show you how to install that today. So let's get into the install. All right, so where you want to start is right around the radio bezel. This little trim right up here just pops off, pops towards the rear. It's got a bunch of clips holding it on. You don't need a panel tool, but if you have one, it may help you pop off some of the corner parts. The next trim we're going to remove is the uh, long radio trim that's going across the dash. It's actually going around your key cylinder all the way over to your passenger side AC vent. We'll pop that off. Same way, just a bunch of clips holding that on. And if any of these little green things pop off, make sure to put those back on. All right, now with our radio trim pieces removed, we can go ahead and remove these side panels around our center console. You'll have to lift up on your center glove box. And then you can just pull outwards from the center console. Um, you want to start at the side closest to the glove box. And once you have it popped out, you can pull towards the rear to release all these alignment pins. You'll do the same thing on the other side. There you go. All right, now we can move to removing our climate control bezel. And this is four seven mil screws up top. We'll pull all of those out and this whole thing just pops off pulling towards the rear. We're going to remove this completely for the install so we can go ahead and disconnect all of the plugs. All right, now we're ready to pop off the trim that's going around our shifter and our cup holders and this just pulls up with some clips and we'll pull this out and also set this aside. All right, next up is it's time to actually remove the little pocket. Now this is, has a bunch of, um, or like two retaining clips, I believe on the bottom of this. Um, and all the way forward, uh, it's kind of hard to see. You have two seven millimeter screws going straight down up front here. So it's kind of tight to get in there. If you got a, a ratchet with a shallow socket, you can get in there. I'm gonna use a finger driver with my little seven millimeter nut driver on there and that's how I'm gonna pull these off. Just set that on there. It's not super tight to remove, but the area that you're working in is fairly small. All right, there you see, I got one. We'll do the other one right on the other side. So now with the screws removed, we can go ahead and pull up on this pocket. And on the back side, you have a couple of plugs that you need to remove for your media port. Unplug those. All right, now with our pocket in hand, basically all we have to do is swap over the clips on the bottom and the media hub, and uh, we'll be able to install the wireless charger. So to pull the media hub out, it's just a couple of clips on either side. You need to press those and push those right out of there. If you have a little flat head, you can pull these clips off as well. Sometimes you can get them with your fingers. All right, so once we got the parts that we needed off of our old pocket, we can discard this. We're not gonna use any more parts from this and we'll go ahead and route our wiring and then we'll get back into reinstalling the wireless charger. All right, so I went ahead and grabbed the wiring harness that's included with your kit. You'll notice that you have one really long wire with a single pin on it. This is actually gonna have to get pinned into your BCM, which is on the passenger side. And on the other end, you have your plug for your wireless charger and the plug that we're gonna be tapping off of our radio harness. 
Now we previously installed the 12 inch upgrade on our truck. So we already have the wiring harness bundle pre-installed up in there with the wires that we need. So we're gonna grab the connector for the wireless charger and we'll plug that in. And we won't need that harness anymore, so we'll tuck that out of the way. So now I'm gonna take our wires that are for the wireless charger and I'm gonna run it straight to the side going towards the driver's side pretty much following the factory wiring that's coming down the side of your center console that goes around here and into this little slot right here and i'll come back and throw some zip ties on there so that's all nice and secure and now our wire is where it needs to be as for the other end i'm going to go in the opposite direction and i'm going to make my way over to the passenger side kick panel All right, so with my harness kind of popping out of the side here uh, in between the glove box, I'm going to route it down and out of the way. Now you'll see a bunch of um, these slots here. That's where clips are actually going to clip into and alignment pins and other stuff. So um, as long as you don't cover any of those holes, um, you won't have any problems pinching this wire. All right, so I'm going to try and make my way over to the passenger glove box here. You have this um, fabric little footwell cover in here. It's just held in with some retaining clips. So you can grab a panel tool and pop each one of those free. There's three of them, I believe, in here. All right, yep, there's three of them. Once you have all three popped out downwards, you can pull the whole panel aside. And you'll have pretty good access in here to uh, zip tie this line up to some harnesses that are in here. All right, so our wire is secure, tight up against those wiring harnesses under here. Now we can pull off our kick panel. All right, so to gain access to the BCM, all you have to do is pull this little plastic cover off. There's a little um, finger tab back here. Slide it towards the center of the vehicle and then you can slide the whole thing out. With that removed, the plug that we need to gain access to to um, insert the pin into is this one right here it's the second one up from the bottom and it has a little gray tab on here a little gray lever you're going to push that little clip down in the center pull that gray lever over and it'll push itself out of there but this is the harness right here it's in between these two larger white connectors it's going to be the gray one we need to pin this wire into location number 11. So if you're looking at it straight on, you can see that it's numbered. So bottom right, looking directly at the connectors is one, all the way to the left is 13. Right up top, that second row, you can see the 14 and it just, just goes in line. But the one that we need is the 11. So what we're gonna do is pull the little tab on the side here outwards and then we can slide our connector up and out of there there you go just like that you don't need to take both off you just need the one that has the number 11 pin and you can verify that again when you pull this off you'll see a number one here all the way over to number 13 number 11 would be two back so this is 13 12 and it's this blank opening right here right next to that wire that we're gonna pin in here. All right, so we got that plugged in there. We can go ahead and slide this back into our connector's little sleeve there. And that's all we need to do from here. Now we can put this back on and basically the same way we took it off, but in reverse with that lever pulled all the way downwards. And as you push it down, you'll see that lever start to move. Just like that, that's what you want to see. And then when you pull that lever all the way up, it'll uh, suck itself in and lock itself in place. Now with the excess here, we're just going to take a zip tie, coil this up and tuck this out of the way. All right, and that wraps up the pinning of this connector here. We'll go ahead and put everything back together. We'll slide our kick panel cover back into place. That'll snap in. And now we can reattach the footwell cover. Sliding that in and we'll snap the pins back into place. 
All right, now we're ready to assemble the wireless charger. All right, so up here on the bench, we have all of the parts for our charger laid out here. And it may be kind of confusing looking at all of this, which way it goes and stuff. But the easiest way to do it is to mount the wireless charger onto the white mount itself. The easiest way to do that is the side with the clip or the plug on it. And the side of the mount that has the wide section on it, you'll see the other side is kind of open. Those will go on the same side. Also, the framing of the wireless charger is notched out to match this plastic mount. So what I'll do is I'll slide the charger or the mount through the charger, slide it over and then lift up. What I'm doing there is aligning the alignment pins so it's aligned into the holes of the wireless charger. Now I can go ahead and screw this down with the screws that were supplied with our kit. And this will take four screws. All right, now with this assembly, we can go ahead and attach it to our new pocket. When you're setting this onto the pocket, you'll see there's a couple of alignment pins here. You wanna make sure that they line up. There's four screws that's gonna hold this on as well. Two alignment pins, one of the alignment pins has a screw right next to it. As you can see the uh, double holes there. And when you look at it, this is how it's gonna look inside the truck. The battery, positive terminal side of that battery imprint on this rubber pad is going towards the passenger side. So we'll attach the four Phillips screws to, to this and we'll be good to go. All right, now that's all mounted up and secured. What we'll do now is take our media hub that we pulled off of our um, original pocket and we can slide that into the hole here. As you can see there's a protruding part on this media hub and there's a notch that corresponds with it on the pocket. And lastly, we have our two spots right at the top for our white clips that we pulled off as well. Those will snap in just like that. And then you have your new rubber base pad that will press down in there. Now we can take this back to the truck and uh, continue with the reinstallation of all of our panels. All right, so now that we got our wireless charger assembled, I'm gonna go ahead and plug in the media hub and the wireless charger right here. And I'll slide this piece back in there and get her mounted up. All right, now we're ready to reinstall the two seven millimeter screws right up front here. And these are the ones that are kind of tight. So I'm gonna get these as far down as I can by hand. And then I'll use my little uh, finger driver here to tighten it up. All right, now that we have our wireless charger all secure, we can go ahead and start reassembling all of our panels, starting with the shifter bezel. And now we can grab our climate control and audio control panel and we'll plug everything back in. All right, we can return the four screws that went up top here. All right, now we can return the side trim panels here, making sure to get the uh, alignment pins lined up with their holes. Then you can snap it in on the sides. We'll do that on both sides. And we'll grab the long trim going across the dash, snap that back in. And then we'll finish off with the radio bezel. All 
All right, now that we got the wireless charger all installed and wired up, we need to get our truck programmed to recognize the wireless charger. So what we did is we teamed up with obdgenie.com to do all of our vehicle programming. You wanna check infotainment.com to see what kind of options are available for your vehicle. All right, now with our truck all programmed, let's try out the wireless charger. Go ahead and turn it on. Grab my cell phone here and I have an Android. I'll drop it on there and you see it instantly starts charging. I also have an iPhone available here. Let's see, throw that on there. And that starts charging too. So this is a nice way to utilize some uh, really unused space in your truck. Um, you can just toss your phone down into the cubby. It'll start charging. If you have the wireless um, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, uh, that'll just work hand in hand together. So you can charge it and stream all of your media all at the same time. All right, so if you enjoyed this tutorial and you wanna see more, make sure you head back to infotainment.com and uh, be sure to check the description below if you are interested in this product and you want more info. Thanks for watching.